RS Form Pro's Joomla registration integration just got a significant update. We'll be showing the new features in this tutorial, but first, let's see how we can install the plugin. Hit the Extensions Extension Manager and, in the Upload Package File tab, click on Browse. Then, specify the location of the plugin's package and click on Upload and Install. You should see this message and change log if the plugin was installed properly. Remember to publish the plugin for the integration to work. You can do this in Extensions Plugin Manager. Let's see what features this integration has to offer, both old and new. Hit the components RS Form Pro Manage Forms and edit a form. To keep things short, we've prepared a form with all the fields required for a proper Joomla registration integration. Note that other fields can be added too. The form will not be limited to this type of functionality. Notice the field that we chose to call create. It is related to a newly introduced functionality that we will showcase shortly. To configure the integration for the current form, head to the Properties tab and click on Joomla User Registration. First, set Use Joomla Registration Integration to Yes in order to enable this functionality. One of the great new features is the possibility to let form submitters choose if they want a new account or not. This is where the Create field that we've mentioned earlier comes into play. You need to use in a radio group or drop down either one or register as the values for the confirmation option and any other value for rejecting the creation of a new account. The new user account activation option is not new, but it got some improvements. It now allows deferring the admin email until the submitter clicks on the activation link. This option will be enabled automatically if new user account activation is set to admin. Another useful addition is the possibility to select the Joomla group in which the new account will be added. You can now control the actions taken when the user or the website's administrator click on the activation links received in the emails. For both user and admin, you can either redirect a specified URL or show custom HTML message.
mapping the form fields with the ones required by the default Joomla registration process remains unchanged. As mentioned earlier, activation links can now be included in the user and admin emails. Just add the user activation in the user emails text and admin activation in the admin emails text they will get replaced with the proper links necessary for the user and admin account activation actions. So let's submit the form and see how this goes. A new user account was created based on the submitted information. The account is not yet enabled and activated. The user receives his activation link via email. After clicking the link, he will get redirected to the URL set up in the integrations configuration.
the admin gets an email with this activation link as well. After clicking the link, he will be presented with the message set up in the integrations configuration. Alas, our new account is now activated. 